Hello, my name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a period to an incentive compensation calendar, open the period, and verify interval numbers. To start, I'll navigate to the Setup and Maintenance work area. Incentive tasks are in the Sales offering. I want to add a new year to the incentive compensation calendar. I have the correct calendar for incentive compensation. The period type is monthly. I'll add a row for January. January is sequence 1. The calendar helps me find the correct start and end date for each month. All 12 months are done, so I save and close. Now I'll go to Manage Parameters. The parameters relate to the business unit in Scope. I'll search for US1. US1 Business Unit is the one I want. This is where we select the incentive compensation calendar for this business unit. Here it's already assigned to this business unit and in use, so it can't be changed. Next, I'll go to Manage Open Period Process so I can open the new period for the business unit currently in scope. I'll search for the new year I just entered. I'll open every period I added. I want compensation data to be available to participants, so I select that option. I'll review the interval numbers and make any changes. The interval numbers were set for me. For annual, every month has the same number. For quarter, every three months share an interval number. The intervals all look good, so I'm done. Thank you for watching.